to Sam Lemony. Sam Lemony has been friends with Barb King since they were little kids. Their dads were friends. <laughs> In Grew up in the flower the, in shop. In the flower shop business. Yep. Sam worked for many years for Walt Disney. Um, you know the beautiful gardens at, is it Disney World or Land? We were in World in okay. Florida. Yep. So yep. Um, he, he was the guy instrumental to creating that beautiful scape when you walk in. This guy knows flowers. He's also the producer of the Philadelphia Flower Show, which just ended, known as one of the premier flower events in the world every year. So Sam, it's Absolutely. an honor to have you on the show. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be working with and you. And same here. And Sam represents a company that you've known for many, many, many years called Brex. Right. In fact, when I said I didn't get the whole sentence out, I was talking to my mother yesterday and I said, <laughs> so mom, we have something new on the show tomorrow. It's Brex. And she said, Brex isn't new. <laughs> I said, no, I know Brex isn't new, but it's been new around, on my show. It's been around 200 years, so there's lots of quality, lots of lots of amazing work that they've put into all these plants and flowers that you're going to see today. And so these lilies. We have oh my two goodness. new things from Sam and Brex today. This is actually a three-piece fragrant lily tree assortment. Have you ever seen a lily tree? This is not just a oriental or Asiatic lily that grows really tall. This is actually going, now we have the cuttings from the trees Correct. right we now. We have the flowers here, yep, but absolutely. But these trees in three seasons will grow to be about six to eight feet absolutely. tall. Absolutely, so you can imagine this canopy of flowers over your head about this tall. Isn't that Look great? Look how tall this will get. I love it. This is amazing, and it really is just, a, it is a cross between an Asiatic and an Oriental lily. Okay. So you get the fragrance, which you smell. Oh, I know, the fragrance is gorgeous smell. Out. And uh -huh. then you get the thick stem, so you don't have to stake these. These won't blow over. They will get that tall, and you won't have to stake them. Six to eight feet tall in the, in the air that will create after the third year. First year, you're going to get about three to four foot plant. Okay. Second year, you're going to be a five to six foot plant. Excellent. And then the third year, you will get that eight foot plant, six to eight foot tall. But even growing three to four feet in the first year Correct. is pretty amazing because these grow very quickly and they're very hardy as all lilies are. Absolutely. So let's look at some pictures that you've brought to us. Yeah, you can amazing. see after the first year, look how big that gets. Mm -hmm. See that's the child there. It's towering over him and you can see the cluster of flowers over the top. Beautiful. The drill mist gives you this canopy. That's why it has the name, the, the lily tree. Uh -huh. So it has the thick stack stem and then also has that large canopy of trees and you can see these beautiful colors with the striping in it um, with the yellow and the orange uh, that gives you oh that striping gosh. there is gorgeous so and you will get gorgeous. one of each of these colors you get the yellow the pink and the orange that you're seeing on the screen and there. we actually have the real flowers out here on the set so you're looking at the photographs that are gorgeous and when you come back you'll see these make beautiful cut flower arrangements that are very sturdy these stems are very woody almost absolutely um, so yeah they're, and they they're will stand not and they will last last a while too mm -hmm. when you have them in your house you want to make sure you you keep them in, in warm water cut them every day okay. and they'll have you'll have arrangement for over, over a week they're absolutely gorgeous and again look how quickly they grow so Let's show when we're finished looking at the pictures. Um, let's show what they're going to get and tell everybody where they should plant them and how. Absolutely. So okay. you you will get three different bulbs, each one of a different color. Mm -hmm. You'll get our growing guide. You want to make sure that these are in the sort of the rear of your garden. These okay. are going to get so, so tall because we get the six foot tall, eight foot tall. You want them to be the focal point and draw your eye to the back of the garden, right? Well, you can put these in a container as well too, oh, but good. you want to make sure it's in the corner of your patio or corner of your deck so that it grows and you can stack other containers around it as well. Now, if I don't have a yard and I, I'm doing mostly container gardening yes. now or things in pots, these are okay in a pot. Will they stay more of a compact size if they're in a pot? They won't. They'll still continue to get larger. Okay. Yep, right. absolutely. But you want to make sure when you're, you know, I like to cluster my pots together, okay. right? So I have a bunch, okay. multiple pots together. Okay. Put this one in the back corner of, okay. the, of the patio Excellent. and then it'll grow taller and then you can have other plants around it okay. like the millennium or the, the allium that we have okay. uh, on Brex, also the hardy geranium. These okay. will mix well with that and really look really great and kind of give you this cascading look and doing those layers of gardening. If I have an area that has, you know, more like a daylily or uh, the, the, Oriental lilies that get maybe a two, three feet tall. Right. Can this mix well with the they lilies I already have? Absolutely mix well because they will be the back, right? So they'll, you have, I love the garden in layers and you have the smaller, middle, yes. and then you have the larger. This, this mm -hmm. really works well for the taller parts of your garden and really kind of creating a focal point. If you do have mm -hmm. a little bit larger yard or a, mm -hmm. or a yard and you're sitting on your deck, you want this in the distance mm -hmm. to create that color. And it gives you that color up in the air too. Not many things besides flowering trees give you that color. These lily trees will give you, and you look up and you take up this picture. Yep. It goes 
yeah. this tall and will be you'll over have, your you'll head. You'll have a tree. You'll actually like have this, a tree a over your head. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and these will grow in zones three through eight, so you don't have to worry. Pretty much everybody everywhere watching, in the, almost everywhere in the um, country. These will do well, yep. and of course, like any lily, they don't need to be brought inside during no. the winter. And these they're are hardy. so easy to grow too. Okay. You plant them. These have to be planted because they're so tall, mm -hmm. tall about mm -hmm. 12 inches in the ground. It's okay. a little bit deeper than normal. Okay. So you want to make sure you plant it deeper. It's all in okay. the planting guide okay. that you get. Um, plant them a little bit deeper so that they can be sturdy in the ground, and then they have that really great root system, and then they grow that six on that third year, six to eight feet tall. You'll get your three head. big Woo. bulbs. You're going to plant them about a foot into the ground, and about four to six weeks, you're going to see them pop out, and they'll grow to three to four feet tall in this first season. Absolutely. And you get all three knockout fragrance. This is a lily tree. Your neighbors will be so jealous because they don't have this. They this don't. This is absolutely no. beautiful. Absolutely. So brand new today, very popular. Stay in the ordering process for our Brex lily trees. Sam will be back later in the show with something else that's brand new, one of my all-time favorite flowers in the garden. It's called Phlox. Uh, but this is a double flowering and like double, triple, quadruple fragrant <laughs> phlox. Fragrant. The fragrance is gorgeous. Uh, this gives you that look of a cottage garden, the old English garden, but these are American. Absolutely, they're native. They're Absolutely native to native, our native to the United to States. The United and, States. And works really great in a cottage or a meadow garden. So they like it here. They love it and here. And they're going to do really well in your garden. So that's coming up. And thank you, Sam. Thank I'm so excited so you're on the show. I'm so glad to be here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave that there. Now,